Greetings, neighborites. Anonymous here. Something that's been coming up a lot recently is discussions of sport versus martial art. And um, it gets really tricky with what we do because we've got people that are coming from both what people consider martial arts and both what people consider sports. Um, I don't really consider them much different, um, and I'll go into that in, in, in this, but um, there are advantages and disadvantages to each kind of way. Now, I came up through the traditional method, which is usually orally in the Asian traditions, um, word of mouth, teacher to teacher, that kind of thing. That then usually gives you enough to go on that you can then learn other things, look at historical documents, and, and start learning. So you get a pretty good, comprehensive education in the traditional method. Um, one of the things, though, that is different in sporting martial arts, um, like fencing, kendo, taekwondo, and all that, is they have a level of competition that essentially traditional martial arts have not had in a very long time. The level that you compete at is much more intense than, say, sparring or any of that. What you're really dealing with is somebody who's in it for keeps. The person is not there to help you learn. They're not there to help you succeed. They're there to make you fail. And they're made there to push you to your absolute break. Right? That is not often found in traditional martial arts. Often, any tournaments that happen within what we consider traditional martial arts, at least in my experience, were between each other, just inter-school tournaments, like this school comes over here, they're all kind of from the same lineage, so everybody kind of knows where each other is coming from as far as techniques and all that goes. Um, or they become a sport, like wushu. Um, wushu then combines a rule set that can be applied to other martial arts and have other people from different martial arts come in and compete as one big group. Um, Hima is another, is another good example which kind of straddles that line. People are taking a more sporting aspect to it because they've got competitions which include that really high level of, of, of interaction and they also have a lot of historical backing and a lot of tradition and a lot of things are being passed down orally now as well. Now, both of these things can, you know, contain similar, can similar aspects. Um, what I find a lot, uh, kind of frustrating sometimes is a lot of people who practice sport martial arts don't want to admit that they're a sport for, for some reason, probably because they think that it diminishes from them. When, quite frankly, sport martial arts are more highly developed because they have a clearer goal and they're actually a little bit more uh, topical to, to, to modern times. Um, and to that, ex to that extent, I consider pretty much all weapon-based arts sports because unless, at least in this country and in most of the countries that, that people are watching this in, um, the likelihood that we're going to get into an actual life and death battle with long swords or, or, or this kind of weapon is slim to none um, within our lifetimes. It could happen, of course, there's always things, but it doesn't certainly like, happen very much anymore. So pretty much the only thing we have is sparring and competition. Sparring is usually friendlier. You can bring it up to certain levels, but generally, again, you're doing that with people. It's generally a learning, exploration type of thing. Having that competition there um, is, is really, really great because it, it, it brings in an entirely new area of it. Now, the drawback to having the competition there is you need rules, and these rules are generally there to help facilitate better play, better technique, and to kind of keep the game going. Um, and so what happens is, if that goes on long enough, you get rules and things that don't make much sense in you know, a modern context, um, or in a realistic context. Um, so like fencing's right of way. Um, these were rules that are that are instituted to to help the game, to to help the sport, to make it more competitive, to make it more even, to even the playing field, or or to add another another dimension. Um, uh, sometimes you make rules up to create 
to stop certain things that happen a lot. In our system, we, we want to avoid double hits and uh, fireballing, where people will take lower scoring hits to get another hit. So um, as, as we use our system, um, which hopefully I'll be able to uh, publicize pretty soon, um, <coughs> that also is there to prevent certain things. It's rules. It's there not as necessarily a combat analog, as in, you, if you do this, you'll learn how to do combat. No. Competition is competition. It's not like war or, or, or anything like that. But, again, you have that, part, that completely un, uh, unwilling opponent in, in that sense. The drawback to it being that you now need rules to kind of make sure that people can judge from an objective point of view what's kind of going on in the arena. The skills often are the same. Um, I will say this, by and large, the athleticism displayed in sporting martial arts is of a much higher level than that of in traditional martial arts. Um, there's not really any fitness requirement in traditional martial arts. I don't think there should be, um, but when you look at competitive martial arts or sporting martial arts. And maybe we should just start calling them competitive martial arts. Um, <clears throat> so within competitive martial arts, um, there is a need for a, a certain level of fitness, a certain level of, of, uh, of technique and, 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 um, and uh, physical ability um, because you are expected to go into a ring and perform at a certain level. Um, and if you don't, you will lose very quickly then probably you're going to quit uh, if, if, you, if, if it's not for you. Um, but uh, there's that. So, um, started out as kind of a, a thing about uh, the differences between traditional martial arts and, and, and sport-based martial arts, but I guess it ends up trying to, let, let's, let's start calling them competitive martial arts. Martial arts that have rule sets and have, have uh, Tournaments and leagues and, and, and things where, which, which help popularize the sport um, out there. Because, let's face it, we're all doing a sport here, especially if we're doing lightsaber. Right? Um, we can call it what we want, it's taking its, 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 its name, and we do all kinds of stuff, with real martial arts, and all of that. Um, yes, we are taking actual martial arts bringing them then, but we make zero claim that these are exactly how they used to be done. We're only talking from our experience of just playing with these. Um, so there you go. So traditional martial arts, competitive martial arts, two sides of the same coin, two sides of the same dice, you know, how many other sides are there? You know, we've got lots of them. Um, everybody is going to pick an art which appeals to them. Um, and you can't really diminish any one of them. Um, and don't feel too bad if people start describing your art in a way that you're not accustomed to. I get that all the time with Kung Fu. Kung Fu is definitely not a, a very highly prized martial art in the reality sense of the word. Um, but that happens to be what, <laughs> what I end up preaching a lot. So people kind of find that. Strange. Anyway, um, that's what it is. Uh, you are going to bring to your art what you bring to it. Bring whatever you got and bring all of it. Um, if if it appeals to you, go go for it. Gung ho. But never lose sight of the fact that everybody else is just on the same journey. Um, competitive martial arts will have certain advantages over uh, traditional martial arts, and there's a lot of gray area within there, right? All roads are good. One of the things we talk about here in TPLA is we want everybody, from competitive, from traditional, from non-traditional, all of that kind of thing, right? This is a community, and uh, we like playing with lots of different people. So, hopefully, uh, this will facilitate more of that. All right, well, thanks for tuning in. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Join us up on Facebook. If you have any questions, please ask them in the uh, comments. I'll try to get to them as, as, as much as I can. Um, other than that, have a great day. Happy Saber.